Hi there, greetings everyone. Gleekon here again with another episode of Lore of Warcraft. We are continuing our story. So right now we're in a kind of a, uh, a nice little back and forth between the Chronicles and the Lore where they're they're just evenly reflected. Where the, the they're going in the same order. The Chronicles is talking about the same stuff as in the novel. Makes my makes my task easier. So stay a while and listen to this next one. It's called The Book of Medivh. The Book of Medivh. As battle engulfed the blasted lands, Gorfin led the Horde's covert hunting party north. Of the three artifacts he sought, he knew only the Book of Medivh's location. He had learned it was an Altarak, a kingdom far from the Dark Portal. That's, that's why we're suddenly talking about that again. Gorfin's forces quietly traveled to Blackrock Spire to make contact with Blackhand's sons, Dalrend and Maine. Through their alliance with the Dragon Maul and Grim Batal, they had access to red dragons. Gorfin desperately needed these creatures to expedite his journey to Alterac. The meeting was disastrous. Dalrend had declared himself war chief of the True Horde. He considered Nerjul a coward and a usurper, and he had no intention of helping him with his plans. Gorfin left empty-handed, but he was soon approached by Deathwing. He offered the Death Knight and his allies a deal. He would lend his black dragons to help the Horde retrieve what it needed, in exchange, the Horde would transport precious items to Draenor. As a sign of trust, Deathwing told Gorfin the exact locations of the other two artifacts, as well as the dangers his forces might face while retrieving them. One was in Dalaran, and the other was deep within the tomb of Sargeras. Gorfin was in no position to turn Deathwing down. He split his forces into three raiding parties. Black dragons would transport them to collect the artifacts immediately. Gorfin suspected that obtaining the Book of Medivh would be the most difficult of the three tasks, so he decided to handle it personally. Deathwing had warned him that Alterac was under martial law, so Gorfin expected stiff resistance. The Alliance forces occupying the city were utterly unprepared to face dragons and death knights. When the Horde raiders arrived, most of the soldiers fled in terror. Gorfin infiltrated the castle and found King Paranold. The human was erratic, boisterous, making demands. His sanity had slipped away in truth. Deathwing had made sure his distant cousin had lost his mind so that the king could not contradict the lies the dragon was telling Lordaeron. Oh, he made him with magic. Mm. Bemused, Gorfiend humored Paranoid's fantasies for a few moments, and then he agreed to wipe out the Alliance occupying force in exchange for the artifact. Such chaos would only help divide humanity's attention, giving him more time to complete his task, and I actually think that might be a further level, so... The book and the novel, while they're in lockstep, were still out of order with the game. But, you know, that's it's it's better than it has been, but it's happening. With the Book of Medivh in their possession, the Death Knight and his followers left the Mad King alive and made their retreat from the city. Gorfin kept his word. The Alliance soldiers stationed in Alterac could do little to fight off the Black Dragon's relentless onslaught. And the garrison was eradicated. All right, so they have... That's really, I guess, the kind of... It's really like there's two campaigns. They're doing that, but eventually the Alliance's campaign becomes to go into Draenor and do whatever they're doing there. Um, and I don't... I do think they're kind of like not a one-to-one -one level level. I think it, it, they're weaved throughout, but not equally. Like, um, I do think it's front-loaded more with the Horde campaign. So they've got one of their three, plus they have the Skull of Gul'dan, so they're, they're doing all that stuff. They're about halfway done. Alrighty, we got this episode in the pipe, 5x5. Five five. I look forward to seeing everybody next time on Lore of Warcraft. Thanks.